Hey, you weren't expecting Barbara Harrison, were you? Let's get on with this. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma and her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out of the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what's the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, threw open the shutters and raised up the sash. The moon on the breast. 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 New fallen snow. 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 Gave a luster of midday to objects below. And what to my wondering I should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. On Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer, on Dixon, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen and the other guy. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet an obstacle, mount to the sky. So to the rooftop the cursors they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. Then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head it was turning around. Down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bow. He was dressed in fur from his head to his foot. His clothes were all parched with ashes and soot. He had a bag of toys flung over his back. He looked like a peddler opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkle, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. And his droll little mouth. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. The beard on his chin, white as the snow. And the stump of a pipe. The stump of a pipe, tight in his teeth. A circle of smoke around his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled the stockings, and then he turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh. To his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere they drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night.